Earlier this afternoon, the Minnesota House adjourned, but as we know, the work is far from over, even though the regular session is officially over. Republican Representative Nels Pearson from our area, he's from Stewartville, he is in St. Paul right now. This came down to the wire, an agreement on a budget, Nels. Not surprising that it came down to the wire since we have seen this time and again. Uh, could it have been hammered out earlier in your opinion? Well, you know, certainly we, we always talk about uh, our various deadlines that we have in the legislature. Uh, we certainly always want to have more public engagement and participation. And at this point, we're beyond being able to engage the public and really educate and inform uh, folks on what's in, in these final bills. Um, the reality is, is, you know, we're really dealing with an incomplete session at this point. Uh, while there are a lot of agreements, we've uh, we've basically punted into a special session that will take place on June 14th based on uh, the governor retaining his emergency powers uh, that requires a, the, the, the statutes require the state of Minnesota call us back into session so that we have the opportunity to remove those powers every 30 days. Uh, but at this point, we're, we're dealing with an incomplete budget. We have uh, a lot of details that still need to be ironed out and uh, we're, we're adjourned. So it's really bad timing for that type of activity. Yes, and with uh, lawmakers today, both from the Senate and in the House, saying that they are glad that um, a, a budget deal has been reached, but as you mentioned, we know there are plenty of details that still have to be hammered out. So what's next? I mean, just because you're adjourned doesn't mean the work is over by any means. Right. Well, there were a lot of conference committees that were scheduled even to meet today that, that have now been converted to working groups. And so uh, a lot of those issues will still be discussed and, and managed in a in a debate format that's that's not unlike our normal conference committee work. Um, but unfortunately, there's just, just a lot of unfinished uh, deals. Um, you know, again, there's an agreement, for example, on the PPP uh, uh, conformity relief and the unemployment insurance and conformity relief that Minnesotans are really relying on. We're depending on that. And uh, the you know, Democrats in the House assured us in the months of February and March and April that we would have time to work that out and draft those agreements. The agreement's already written, it's in the Senate, but for whatever reason, uh, Democrats have, have chosen to adjourn today and uh, here we are uh, after uh, session uh, trying to figure out how it all worked out in the end and get done. So then, Nels, with that said, plenty got done. There was a lot of meetings about legalizing recreational marijuana. That got passed on the House. Uh, was too much time spent there? You know, I, again, a lot of a lot of time and effort and resources were taken. Um, you know, we, we talk about the revisor's office uh, even uh, drafting the bills, and uh, you know there were two thousand six hundred and I think fifty three was the final number of bills that were submitted to the legislature that were introduced here during this session. And you know that that is certainly one that got a lot of focus, a lot of tension, and took a lot of resources. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, there's still we have the capacity in the state of Minnesota to to get these things done. We we have the capacity to get these agreements hammered out, and uh, it, it just doesn't seem like there was the will to get it done on time. Uh, kind of for the last week and a half, it's it's really seemed like uh, everyone has been comfortable with the idea of this going until June 14th when the first special session will be called back. Why is that? That's just it. Why is it that it's okay and nobody's raising a stink about it and it's just kind of expected i guess i have been you know i'm i'm in the i'm a minority member in the minority caucus of the house and we've been talking about it on the house floor for for months uh specifically again the ppp and unemployment uh, tax conformity on the federal level folks who were unemployed last year they're facing the tax bill while they were facing it uh, on today uh, they're writing that check today to pay the state of Minnesota money uh, because they were unemployed and they got the special uh, special unemployment uh, benefit. So uh, the fact that people were unemployed and were hurting and struggling the most during this past year, uh, and those are the folks the state of Minnesota is now taxing additional revenue off of, it, it isn't in the forecast. It isn't money that we have 
that we always depend on just to fund other programs in the state of Minnesota. Uh, so it's just one time money that's coming in uh, that's basically uh, going to going to be spent by the gov government because they they think that they can do that. Uh, it, it seems like a, a heartless thing to do at, at a time that's been so difficult for so many. And then the PPP, there are so many businesses that were on the verge of going out of business and the PPP was great relief. But now the state of Minnesota is going to be benefiting from th those uh, dollars. And uh, while there's an agreement, there's there's uh, um, it is not written into statute. So those checks are being written right now by small businesses. And some of them won't be able to, to withstand the extra month or two months. You know, they've got creditors and they've got obligations of their own that they have to take care of. Uh, and you have something much more pressing to take care of. I hear you, one-year-old in the background. And Nels, I so appreciate your time. You've got a lot to take care of. Thank you. For sure. Appreciate it. Thank you, Betsy. <laughs> yeah.